Clark's River is special just one because it's the only national wildlife refuge in Kentucky. That's first of all. And second is there's lots of things here that that it's not readily observable. If you just um, were passing through, you might not notice it. But once you get here, you realize that there's a lot of treasures, a lot of a lot of things that you wouldn't think about every day when you go to a, a typical refuge. This is kind of atypical in a sense. It's a bottomland hardwood refuge, which a lot of refuges are bottomland hardwood, but it's atypical in that uh, you don't just drive through and, and, and see a lot of stuff immediately, but once you get out and you take a little time and you're patient, yeah, I think that's what's special to me is you kind of have to work for it a little bit. A wildlife refuge is a place that has been set aside specifically for the conservation of wildlife and their habitats. And, you know, we do that, it has been done so that future generations can also enjoy wildlife and the benefits they bring to our life. We're all about wildlife and habitat. That's, that's number one, always will be, is on every refuge. And making sure that, that all those species are conserved so that, that everybody can enjoy them just like we have been able to. But environmental education here is a key for us. Um, we put a lot of emphasis on that and, and for lots of reasons. One, we want everyone to appreciate it as much as we do. We're afraid that if they don't appreciate it, they, they may not necessarily have the same passion to conserve it that we have. And we know that they're missing things by staying indoors, that the technology that's out there, you know, that keeps them um, keeps them occupied. There's, we all have very busy lives, parents do, and it's hard to get kids out to get that appreciation. So we actually do everything we can to go into the schools, convince the, the uh, administrators to, to get those kids out here to the refuge. We work with them, we'll take them fishing. We uh, do programs where they're hands-on. We don't want to do this talk to, to you thing so much as, as we do. We want to get them out, let them explore, let them, get them feel, feel what we feel. And, it's really gratifying at the end of the day when we hear the kids saying best field trip ever, best field trip ever, and can I bring my grandparents here, can I bring my parents here, and we know that those kids got it. They got a glimpse of what it really means. It really is exciting for me to get someone else excited about what we do, especially someone who, who I, think it's all, I think it's in all of us deep down but I don't know that it's been brought out. And so if I can spend a day, a week, whatever, a minute with someone, tell them a couple of things, get their interest, get them interested, and then have them start asking me questions, just dealing with the people is, you know, and I love the wildlife and I love doing the hands-on management. You know, we ban, we ban birds. We, we do a lot of hands-on stuff and it's very gratifying to, to put up a bluebird box and see bluebirds immediately, you know, take to it. We've had that happen, you know, within, five minutes of putting it up. You know, th that's gratifying. Planting a, a reforesting area and, you know, the next year seeing all the, the rabbits and the, maybe some quail or, or the deer using it, that's gratifying. But when I actually can talk to someone and, and I see that they are kind of get what I'm telling them, that's probably the most gratifying. Uh, our refuge is a very rural area. It's a wooded area. And uh, it, it, it is, a, uh, hunting is a, one of our primary uses. And that's not uncommon on National Wildlife Refuges at all. Uh, hunting is one of our big six priority public uses that, that we foster. You know, we do wildlife observation is one of those uh, big six uh, opportunities that we also, environmental education is that we foster and try to promote. So this particular refuge, it is hunting and environmental education. That's the two biggies now. We do get quite a bit of birding, that happens, and wildlife observation is probably third, and then fishing falls in there after that, but those are, our, that's kind of how it ranks out at Clark's River. A wildlife refuge is set aside specifically to protect wildlife and their habitats. I mean, that's the purpose, the one sole purpose. And we're a hands-on agency. I mean, we, we actually do uh, conservation, we practice it, uh, we do, timber stand improvement through cutting, we use fire, we do lots of things. If we uh, perceive that to, through our research and through our science to, to 
benefit the species that we've targeted. You know, we're going to go in and, and be hands-on in the land. And uh, again, it's, it's solely for wildlife. That is what we're solely here to do on our National Wildlife Refuges.